everyone. We are so excited to be here with you. We are going to start off this story time by singing our song, Jesus Loves Me. Jesus loves me, this I know. For the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. All righty, great singing. Let's see <laughs> who is here. I'm Mara, and Jesus loves me. And who I, else is here? I am Maisie, and Jesus loves me. Now it's your turn. Jesus loves you all, and I'm glad that you're here. We're both glad that you're here for this today. Today we're going to hear a Bible story that is all about love, and we are going to talk now about what it means to love one another with a little game. The, what, the way we're going to play is I'm going to say an action, and you'll tell me if it gets an L, for loving action or what? X. X if, if it's, it's unloving. Uh, Are you ready? Yep. Are you ready? Yes! Alrighty, let's try this. Helping with the dishes. Does that get a loving action or? Yep, loving action for sure. What do you all think? <laughs> loving? Okay. Yes. Teasing someone about his or her clothes. X. X. That's not loving, right? Making fun of someone. X. X. That's a lot of X's. Mommy. That is. Tell on your brother or sister for making you mad. X. X. That's right. If it's something that's dangerous, then we then it's important to tell our parents. But if it's if it's just something that makes you mad, then that then that would be unloving, right? How about yes. if you say hi to a new kid at school or in your neighborhood? L. Right. Being welcoming. Yeah. And, and meeting someone new is loving, right? Whining about doing something that you don't want to do, but your parents ask you to do. We might do an X right now. Yeah, play. whining. Not that you all would do any whining, but, but it would not be good to do that. That's, that's not loving. How about forgiving a friend for saying something mean? Is forgiveness loving or unloving? <gasps> Loving, that's right. Forgiveness is a part of loving too. Have the sign to hold. Right. Jesus tells us to love one another, but sometimes it can be hard to do. Sometimes we don't feel like sharing or helping or being nice. But we can pray for help at any point in time, though, because God wants us to treat each other with love. The great thing about loving each other is that we can ask for forgiveness when we do mm -hmm. unloving things. Jesus yeah. forgives us so that we so we understand that we can also forgive each other. We do that in our household, don't we? we yes, we all do. We do, right? Forgiveness is a part of love. Now take out your Bible, your Spark Story Bible. If you yes. have one around, run to the other room and grab it if you don't have it. If you have an orange Spark Story Bible, it's on page 308. I so happen to have a blue Spark Story Bible. So and if you it, have one like that, it is, it is page 268 if you have a blue one. And this story is called it. The Greatest Commandment. You want to be on the lookout for Squiggles the Caterpillar yep, in each we picture. Always, uh, maybe? Mommy will tell you when uh, may, I find it. Maybe I'll tell you. Otherwise, <laughs> it might be announced for us. So Woo! take a peek and look for squiggles, but follow along with the story. I already found him. The greatest commandment. The Pharisees were a group of people hmm. who had lots and lots of laws. Altogether, they had more than 600. Wow, that's mm. like 100, 100, 100, 100, and 100, and 100. That is a lot of rules to follow. One day... Uh, one of the Pharisees said to Jesus, Teacher, what's the greatest law? He didn't think Jesus could possibly pick just one law out of so many. He was trying to trick Jesus. But Jesus knew the man was trying to trick him. He looked at the man and smiled. Love God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Jesus said, This is the greatest of all the commandments. But there's another really important one too. Love your neighbor as yourself. Yeah. If you obey these two laws, then you obey 
all of the laws. Oh, I found squiggles on that page. Let's take a moment and let's talk about the commandment. A commandment is something God wants us to do. Listen to what God wants us to do. We just read about it in the story. Yes, yes, yes. Love God, love, love other people. Love other people. Let's say it all together. Maisie, can you join me? Yes, and mm. hopefully you guys do it with us. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> love God, God, love other, other people. people. Okay, let's say it one more time together. Love, love God, God love, love other people. people. All right, so after okay. that, yep. the Pharisees' <gasps> jaws drop to the floor. <laughs> you can see a silly picture as you're reading along with this story. Yeah, and make sure you found squiggles. And you can find squiggles too. They were shocked to know how smart Jesus was. They were surprised Jesus had answered their question and turned their trick around on them. They didn't know what to say. Then Jesus had a question for them. What do you think about the Messiah? Whose son is he? That was an easy question for the Pharisees. They grew up learning in school that the Messiah came from the family of David. So that's what they told Jesus. Then why do all the people from the family of David praise David as the Messiah? Jesus asked. Now that was a hard question. The Pharisees didn't have an answer. They backed away and they didn't trick Jesus again. Up, squiggle! The question that goes along with this is, how would you feel if you were Jesus and a big group of people tried to trick you? That's a good I don't really like being tricked. Do you guys like being tricked? Yep. No. No, not no. so much. Mm. So in their story today, who does God want us to love? Do you remember? We said um, it just a little while ago. God. God. And the others. And other people. people. Love God, love others. Meaning neighbors, lots of people. What kind of faces do the people around Jesus have? What kind of faces did they make? They made that later, but before that they had mean faces. Who has a happy face on? Mm. Jesus. Jesus had a happy face. Jesus. I wonder why God wants us to love other people. We all need to be loved, don't we? And this story helps us remember that. Our story is about love, which we just talked about. And there is yep. something that we can make that reminds us of love. Yep. So today you can do an activity. And we've already done this to show oh. you some examples. We have some hearts. Yep, a lot. That we made at home. This one? You can make them this out of one? anything. Paper, puffy paints. paints. Let's and sit other down. Other paints and markers. Other paints and markers. Just Maybe you can make it out of some dough or you can crayons. make it out of Lego. So many different things. So yes. we want you to join us in making hearts for your home. You could even hang them in your window so as someone's walking by or driving by, they would see and be reminded of the love that we have for one another. And maybe you can make it out of stickers too. So many options for ways you can make hearts. Make some hearts today and when you do, remember how Jesus loves you and how Jesus loves us or tells us to love Other others. People. That's right. All right, we're going to have a prayer to close together. Let's pray. This is an echo prayer, which means you repeat no. the words I say. Yeah. This is an also, also an action prayer. So copy the action that I do. I can love you with my heart. I, I can love you with my heart. I can love you with my strength. I can love you with my strength. I can love you with my brain. I can love you with my brain. I can love others too. I can love others too. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining us for Bible Story and Activity Time today. There are more stories and more resources for you to access to check out. Just text the word story to the number on the, on the screen. Super simple, and you'll have resources to check out. We'll see you next time.